Welcome back to Restaurant Food Fest, everybody. I'm Chuck. I'm Ward. And we are going to continue today with uh, Oriental theme. Gonna do a Thai... Famous Sun Young Guy. No. Oh. I just figured you liked it so much. No. Okay, whatever. We're gonna do a Thai uh, street bowl. Which uh, basically just thin noodles, whatever. We're gonna use beef. So I've got a real nice thin top round, which is basically a real thin cut of your lemon broil type. I'm gonna strip that down with some peppers and onions and pretty much put it into a broth with a little bit of seasoning. And I'll show you all those. It's real, sim real, real simple, real quick. Um, pretty much the same thing you'd get street vendors for Thai food. You got anything you want to go on to before we do this, or while I'm doing this? Um, no. Oh, we did get a, a comment in the... Um, Quit clapping, you're going to mess up your head there. Yeah, I know. We had a comment in the uh, on our forum about um, somebody wanted us to do cabbage. Kathy asked us to do some sort of cabbage thing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we're not going to be doing it now because of the our new format. format. But what we could probably do is like in February, uh, there was uh, some talk about doing some like local dishes like uh, Pittsburgh, like Holishki and stuff like that. That really so, wouldn't be local. That would be more like a Hungarian Czech dish. But it's very popular local in Pittsburgh. Pierogies. There's no need for that. <laughs> so, there is a need for it. There is. You just don't realize it yet. You'll see. There is a need. Believe me. Yeah. The, um, but we do appreciate the comment, and we, we did read it, and we are going to, to address it, just not right away. That's nice. It's like saying, yes, we do hear you, but no. No, we're going to do it. It's just we're not doing it today. Right. I understand. We're, it's okay. Cut your meat. I hope this is one of your friends. Um, Cut your meat. Now we're going to do February, we'll do all Eastern European, which we'll, we'll do um, halushki, pierogies, uh, anything else? Cooked red cabbage. Coconut cabbage? Cooked red oh, cabbage. Oh, cooked red cabbage. No, that's German. Um, so it's European. European. It's not, not, not the Eastern European I'm looking for. It depends on how East you want to go. I'm shrimming this, taking the fat off of this. Not a whole lot to it, but I'm just going to take the fat. There's a fat edge to a, a top that I'm taking some off. Yeah, Jeff's been wanting uh, braised rib cabbage now for a long time. I keep harassing him and telling him no. But yeah, we've been threatening to do the halushki and, and all yeah. that stuff and for a long time. If we to go Western European, we could do something with beets. Oh, yeah. That, that would be the Russian Some borscht. Yes, I know people who like beets. I wouldn't be one of them. And I think that's a tr uh, typical Russian dish. Like beets? Beets. Just beets? Yeah, beets. Now, they actually have a, a very good food history. Uh, I'm kidding for anybody out there that's Russian. It's a joke. It's, they, they have some very, very interesting flavors, particularly with their charcuterie, uh, which is sausages and such. They have a real, uh, I don't know how to describe it. The seasoning is, to me, perfect. It's very seasoned. So just like what they consider their Russian bolognese and stuff like that are incredibly good compared to what you're used to in the States. Um, one of Brady's ex-boyfriends was Russian, and he treated us to some of this stuff, and it's just amazing because I had never had it. But it's phenomenal. But anyway, sorry, I digress. I got on a different topic there. Well, I changed the subject. What, food? Yeah, well. Good God, man. Don't talk about food don't during the show. Don't talk about food. What's wrong with you? Can't talk about food during the show. As you can see, I'm just cutting these down nice thin strips because I want to cook them really fast. Um, is there a reason you make them in strips or could you cube it like in little cubes? Or is it, is, I mean, is there actually a reason for yes. the strip? Yes. There is a reason. It's not necessarily for the strips. It's the thinness. Um, you want this to be really thin. So it cooks very fast. There's, I was watching, what show was I watching? Um, I can't remember. But they were talking about, so it doesn't exist. 
the Oriental show Cuisine. In your mind. It was a show in my mind, yes. They called it the Breath of the Dragon. And it's that super hot wok. When it cooks something, it gives it a particular aroma and taste. Um, if the meat is in chunks, you end up with big chunks of raw meat that are seared on the outside. So you mm. kind of want to make them nice and thin. So Jeff is giving me a thumbs up like I might have actually told somebody something useful. No, just the idea of big chunks of raw meat. <laughs> oh, it's okay, sorry. I thought you were commenting that we were actually doing something cohesive. Yeah, that's good. If you're not sorry, faint. Yeah, if you're looking for cohesion, you're at the wrong show. While you're, while you're slicing it up, we we did get a lot of hits last week. Where apparently we're doing something people like, or at least you're doing something people like. I'm just. Hey, you're part of it. Yeah, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it actually is your fault, Ward. You're the one who started this, so you can't get out of it that easy. I'm blaming Diane. You're blaming Diane, okay. Yeah, the squirrel is to blame for all of all of this that we're putting you through. So did you like marinating that and stuff before, prior, or? You know, honestly, they don't do a lot of marinating. Um, Chinese food, Oriental foods, are very, very quick. So they will keep them in a sauce after it's cooked, like... It, it, like a soy sauce? Yeah, soy sauce or a spicy chili sauce or something. They'll cook it and they'll keep it in there. And when they make the, the noodle bowl, they just kind of throw all the ingredients together already cooked, heat them up. Um, I'm showing you how to do it kind of like for a, lunch. Kind of like a chili type thing where it just sits in... Stews. Yeah, it sits in stews in its own juices. That was just way too cliche. Um, pepper. You can use any kind of peppers you want. I just happen to have green peppers. Middle of winter is kind of hard to find decent peppers on sale. So the other thing with Oriental food and oddly enough a lot of Italian food, um, big chunks. They like big chunks of material. So you don't cut it down into these tiny little things, you, you keep it nice and large. Um, I think a lot of that's just for utility. It's kind of hard to pick up really tiny pieces on chopsticks. So you keep it on something. Their sizing is they want everything to be a bite. Everything should be a mouthful. So they don't want anything bigger than that. I, I mean, although you will find things that are, are larger, but they tend to keep everything in a bite-sized portion. So the other thing with doing Oriental cuisine is have mise en place is very important in this type of cooking because you cook so fast that if your stuff isn't done, by the time you would go to cut something else, it would be overcooked. The other, which you have in the pan, will be overcooked while you're getting the other ingredients. So make sure you have everything kind of done before you start. And like I alluded to before, I was seriously overcomplicating Chinese food, Oriental cuisine in general. It's not difficult. You put very basic ingredients together and have at it. Want these? No thanks. Sure? I'm good. Okay. Now, as I'm thinking, I'm going to put some of these noodles in. Now, whatever noodles you choose to use, choose to use to use, yeah. um, that's completely up to you. These are so many noodles. Um, so like angel hair pasta would be perfectly fine? Yep. Lasagna noodles? Lasagna noodles might be a bit thick. Should I just use all of these? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can use thick noodles, thin noodles. Generally, I, I don't know, I guess because of the Italian, I try and match my sauce to the noodle size. So if it's a thin sauce, a 
I know you're talking, I'm talking in my back. Um, if it's a thin sauce, then I use thin noodles. If it's a thick sauce, then I use thicker noodles. So this is going to be basically a broth, so I'm going to use very thin, small noodles. What about whole wheat noodles? Um, you can use whatever variation you like. Are these rice noodles that you're making now? Um, I don't believe so, no. Do they like a rice base? No, I don't think they are. I don't, I'm, I like to ask them questions that confuse You like me. asking questions that I can't answer. That's my job. Like, what are you doing? Do you need me to hold it? You know what? I think you're a butthead. No, these are definitely wheat noodles. I didn't think so. You can usually tell rice noodles are usually translucent. They have a different color. These cook very quickly. About three minutes in here and they'll be done. Look! Got a new pan. I'm going to see how this works. I like using my wok, but since I went to an electric top, it's very, very difficult to use a real wok on an electric top. So, we'll see how that works. Get that thing cranking and finish doing this. Now, can you put other vegetables with this? Sure, if, can. If, uh, if, I mean, what would you substitute for, say, the pepper? Beads. <laughs> Sit up with you the beads. really, really popular in uh, Japanese noodle bowls is cabbage. Pickled, you know, cabbage is very popular, but um, pickled vegetables. They, one of the most popular noodle bowls is just noodles and pickles. Mm. They like to use like pickled peppers, any kind of pickled spiced vegetables. They throw them in their noodle bowls. I love them. Um, Peter Piper, pickled peppers. He picked the peck them. Pick, pick the, the peppers. peppers. Mm -hmm. If you say so. I'm not talking to you no more. Whatever. Okay, Kayla. Cut your on your shot. You're just mad. Hey, Lord. Yes. How about draining the? Surely you just. <laughs> Colander's right there. I, I know where it is. I can see it. I know. There's one there too. Now, just the, that little yellow one should do. Gotta be high. What? You don't know how to dump water? No. I'm here to ask questions and edit. Seeing as I can't edit nothing, and I, apparently there's no question as to what you're doing, so we'll leave it at that. Okay, I've got the noodles drained and shocked. I'm going to hit this screaming hot pan that I just bought and probably ruined. I don't think the bottom's thick enough to take that kind of heat, but we'll see. Can hit a little bit of peanut oil. Swirl that around. Why do you use peanut oil? Because if I had used any other type of oil in this temperature pan, it would have just went poof into flames. Literally. So why did you use peanut oil? Peanut oil has a much higher um, smoke point, which is Jeff's leading question. Um, different oils have different smoke points. And that, the smoke point is the flash point, basically how hot it gets before it bursts into flames. So, like I said, peanut oil's way up there. Uh, let's throw an onion in, see what the temp is like. Screaming hot. So is there a particular cooking order, or just... You're gonna dump it all in at once? I'm pretty much gonna do that. I'm gonna s carry the meat first. And then I'm just gonna start dumping. Go, speed racer, go! I'm going. Okay, you got all this in there? That's nice. I like my pan. Now I'm separating the meat chunks, throwing some stuff on the floor.
Okay. Ginger. Because this is a Thai bowl, you can add all kinds of interesting flavors. Cinnamon, cloves. I'm just going to use a bit of five spice because I cheat. You're not going to need any salt uh, because you're going to hit this with some soy. Soy is a lot of sodium, so you don't have to use salt. Um, you can use ground pepper if you want. I'm going to hit this with a it's a garlic chili pepper to season it up a little more. Uh, beef stock. Phenomenal. I'm going to keep this just very light, just the way it is. Um, now, do you add the noodles to it, or are you going to add the? Well, basically, add the because I have a lot of noodles here, what I'm going to do is add. I'm going to take a clump of noodles, like that. Nice clump of noodles. And then I'm going to take a, a couple ladles of this over top of the noodles. I'm going to finish it with some broth. And there you go. Thai noodle bowl. Beef. That's it. That's all you got to do. Now you can substitute chicken for the beef. You can substitute chicken for the beef. Of course, you want to change the chicken stock. You can substitute um, seafood, shrimp, clams, uh, mussels, anything you want to put in it. Well, if you were to use seafood, what do you use? Seafood stock. Seafood stock. Yeah. So you just use the same stock that you're using as a product. Pork is the only one they really don't. They'll use beef stock with pork sometimes. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. It's it's these these things are so very quick to do. It's one of the reasons I love Oriental cooking. Um, it's just got that nice. I don't know how to describe it. It's tangy. It's not sweet, but it is a little bit. It's got some salty to it. it has good flavors. Um, and they're really, really fast. So, if you like Thai food, that's how quick it is to put out a, a Thai noodle bowl. And uh, that's pretty much it for that one, guys. Cool. Yippee quick. Alright, so remember, you can get in touch with us 
at restaurantfoodfast at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter at uh, restaurant underscore food. Um, you can always go to our website and leave comments. We do read the comments. We do Even though we might not return them we, today. We, yeah, we, we may not be able to do the show that you suggest the next week, especially with this new format we're going to, but we are more than willing to do pretty much anything. So, at least word is. I know if there's money involved. If there's money involved, I will whore myself out. Well, he has done it. Just, it. just saying. Just, just saying. Just saying. Anyway, uh, send us your comments. Send us, you know, your critiques. Good, bad, and different. Something you like, something you didn't like we did. We'll see what we can do about rectifying any problems. And if you want to ask Ward to change his shirt. I, 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 if you I, don't I, like the Hawaiian shirt, please, write in. I enjoy the Hawaiian shirt. No, no, please, 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 write in. Please, we're begging you. Please, write in. That'll be enough of that. <laughs> so, until next week. I'm sorry, I'm rambling back and forth. My yes, delay. you are. All right, I'm trying to get the rest of this. I'm Ward. I'm Chuck. This restaurant food fast. We're out.